that may have been, I wouldn't even say arguably, that was one of the best baseball games of the last decade or so. Easily top five. Wasn't better than Shohei's magical game. That game didn't have significance, though. This ah, was to get into the playoffs. I'll say for the Mets. Actually, it was a great game. Like they said, if you're a Mets fan right now, you're I forget what he said, you're going berserk. This is torture. That's what we got. I mean, this if you're is, a Mets fan, you're going torture. If you're a casual baseball fan, you're witnessing one of the best games yeah. ever. It was a great a, game. A game where back one a game where one guy's individual performance is legendary. Yeah, that was a you great know, game for him personally. Yeah, doesn't yeah. hold the significance of a when you're in no, type of scenario. It was awesome, dude. I was actually feeling for oh. you. Danny G, too, right? You know, your Mets took a lead. Then they took a lead. I was well, like, oh, it's it, over. The first six innings, it looked like eh, the Mets couldn't hit. I'm, I'm thinking, man, I'm going to have to watch game two during the show today and hope that they somehow find a way to win. And then, all of a sudden, bats come alive. They're down 3 nothing. They go ahead. Well, then and then into their bullpen. Yeah. Then, I was just going to say, thank God for the Braves uh, bullpen for you, Rich. God, Nimmo hits a blast at 6-3. A blast is an understatement, man. He teed off, dude. That was that, I give that five booms. And then the Braves, I mean, they're a good team. They got to Diaz. T- T- Timmy Trumpets better sit down because <laughs> Diaz stunk it up. Honestly, how nervous were you? Oh, my God. When they went ahead. Were you uncontrollably pacing? When they went ahead 7-6. Yeah. I was like, how? They were ahead 6-3. What is going on here? I was losing it. And then... Just so you know, guys, it was a win and in sort of yeah, situation in yeah. case you didn't know. And it was a, a crazy doubleheader. So they're playing again. Sale was just scratched out as the starting pitcher for the yeah. Braves because he has back spasms. So you actually want the Mets to lose yeah, this next I, game. I have a thought on that, and, and I'll explain, but... I, I don't know which call is better. The Howie Rose call that Monty played at the top of the hour or Gary Cohen on SNY. And Lindor gets under one to center field. Harris going back. It's back near the wall. And it's out of here. Real Saturday again. Francisco Lindor flips the script with a two run homer. And the Mets go in front. Eight to seven. <laughs> oh boy that was wow. great man it really was great and Lindor with the big moment what a great big time player and if it wasn't for Otani he'd be the MVP well, for what he meant to the Mets I, I, I have a thought on that most guys like him come to the Mets especially and stink it up and he did the exact opposite you know not to make it all about the Mets but we've talked about how very few times you could think of a guy that came to your team and was best yeah as That's a guy awesome. in your team, like I can't think of a guy that came to the Mets and those were his best years, possibly other than Lindor. Now, the final call of the game, I bring this up only because Cavino and I have joked about how broadcasters have one in their pocket. What am I going to say if it's a no-hitter? What am I going to say if it's a perfect game? Yo, if this is a monumental moment, you know that when Otani went 50-50, Joe Davis had that call in his back oh, pocket. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Gary Cohen had a call in his back pocket because if you remember, the Mets started the season 0-5 and it was miserable and everyone's like, man, this team stinks. They were, you know, double-digit games under 500. And then you remember the Iglesias, oh my God, got them all hyped up and grimace. Listen to the final call from Gary Cohen. 2-2. Ground ball. Lindor waits on it. He's got it. And the ball game is over. From 0-5 to OMG, what a ride! The Mets are going to the postseason in 2024! You could tell he had it in his pocket. What an incredible game to clinch with! Down 3-0, up 6-3, down 7-6, Lindor with the home run to put him over the top, and Diaz stretched to the max to close it out, and the Mets win it 8-7. to yeah, you could tell he had a plan, but it still gave me chills as, yeah. as a non-Mets <laughs> fan, you know. So I'm just trying to make it clear. It was a great, great win for them. And I'm curious to see what happens in this second game of the doubleheader. The second game that, well, actually, your Mets, a lot, some of your Mets were complaining about the schedule. 
I saw well, JD Martinez yeah, complaining I mean, about it. I mean, it's you know, no but one wants to hear exciting. No one wants for, to hear for everybody else. People complain, but it is a tight schedule. Here's my thoughts. I have two things then. We're gonna we're gonna get to a lot of football today. We are just fresh off of one of the top I would say a top five baseball game over the last twenty years. In a long time. It was a nail biter. I was rooting for you on your behalf. Oh, I love the back and forth. You know, I have a problem with you though. Before you tell us your thoughts. Well, think of David Freeze. Yeah. Think oh, I'm yeah. just trying to think of like over the last twenty years in the two thousands. It's subjective because, you know, if your team did something stellar, that's no, gonna resonate. I'm I'm talking about games with significance that went back and forth. I'm thinking Cardinals have had some of those moments. Cardinals it, definitely have. Uh, no, it has to be a moment where it was back and forth, and a team came out on top. It can't just be like, oh, it's my team. They won. This was a game that... It was a battle. The eighth and ninth inning were insane. A battle of significance. Um, um, I, I think you, with your David Wright jersey on, David Wrong, Rich Davis, David Wrong, <laughs> I feel like you owe your Mets a public apology. Because if we go back to the videotape, oh, yeah. no, but you I, had quit this team. I did, but you remember what I said? One time, man. One time they gave it to you. They gave you what you wanted. You owe them a little bit of, I, I'm sorry. I give them Thank up. you for a great season. All you want them to do is represent. They're in the playoffs now, man. Yeah. It's anybody. Actually, I'd be really scared of teams like the Mets and the Tigers, teams like that. They're hungry. They're, they they got great momentum. I'd be fearful of them. I think you're in a great position, and that's all you need was to get to this point. Anything can happen. Well, if you remember, and if I, they represent well, man. You should be proud that they made it this far this when, season. When they were trailing in the wild card, if you remember, I said this scenario has to happen this weekend, or I'm officially out. And yes. that scenario happened. I remember. And I pulled myself back in. <laughs> and uh, hey, great game. I quit the Mets. Uh, two layers, and then again, rest of the show going to be a ton of NFL. Danny, just, hey, dude, you're Danny, allowed to be excited about Danny's Mets. fresh back from Vegas. He went to the Raiders game yesterday. We'll talk about. The Ravens last night against the Bills. We'll talk about the Niners fine-tuning what they got going on. The Chiefs pull out a win out here in L.A. We get to a lot of NFL in a little bit. But two baseball questions. By no means does this put Otani's MVP in question. But here's my thought. Otani by far, and Judge, two best players in baseball. What do you then call a guy like Lindor that the team would be nothing without him? Second, By definition, second place, second place MVP. No, 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 but I'm saying like, <laughs> is there like clearly Otani and Judge best players? No debate, no debate. Um, well, you, every year it's like he was the most valuable player to the team. Otani's just the best player, right? Otani and Judge best players in the game. But if you take Francisco Lindor off the Mets, I don't know if they're 500. Yeah, he's great, man. So, like, is that... He's a great Met, By too. definition, MVP, but it should not win the MVP. But, it almost has to be, like, a, a separate category in your own mind. Like, who's so... Significant, significant to that Significant to their success. impactful, yeah. Honestly, though, Rich, watching 9 out of 10 Dodger games this season, and it's a long season, yeah. the Dodgers would not be where they are at right now without Otani. Oh, with, he's a pimp. With, he's a stud. And, I love yeah, I'm, Otani. I'm just saying, yeah. as far as value, because Betts was out for a couple months... Freeman was out for the health of his child, and he was slumping after that. And so without Otani being that glue and that MVP, the Dodgers would not be the number one seed right now. There's no chance. I do see what you're saying, but Danny G makes a good point. Plus, Otani's circus numbers, his numbers are just ridiculous. Sometimes you there's a lot of great people at the same time. I'm sure if you look back through history, there were people that <laughs> were like, well, great but there was just someone that was just a little bit more great. I mean, look at the NBA. Right look, at the, look, at the, look at the NBA spot. How many superstars did Michael Jordan prevent? <laughs> exactly. From winning. Barkley, Ewing. More. Malone, Ewing, Reggie Miller. Sometimes there's just someone better. That that's yeah. the case and and I think with Lindor, if if Shohei Otani didn't exist, Lindor's your MVP. Of course. But think about it in politics. I've said this before. Not Dude, just if, if Mario Lopez wasn't just slaying it as oh a host God. everywhere, I'd be the guy. Steve Camino would be the host yeah, of he's Extra. Holding me back. He'd you have know his how many own gigs dude wipes. That guy I, I, has uh, more gigs than I should have than anybody. Take him out of the equation. I'm one of the coolest guys going. I, I dances should, with his daughter on he, TikTok. He, right, I would have been on fight, Saved by the Bell. Yeah. Ringside. He'd be doing everything. You'd see me ringside at every fight. I, You're right. I, uh, I said recently that. You can see that in the world of politics. Not to get political, we do have a uh, vice presidential debate tomorrow night. I think four losing presidential candidates would have won this election. Al Gore, John Kerry, John McCain, Mitt Romney. All four of those losers would have beat, I think, Trump or Kamala. I really do. 
So Spot makes a great point. Sometimes it's not how great you are. It's, you know, someone else being great. We talk about it when you get drunk or act a fool at an event. As long as you're not the most drunk fool, people will forget. You might have been drunk at your holiday Christmas party, but if some guy made an ass of himself, people forget that you had one too many. There's always that one dude in your way, though. That's what it really comes down yeah. to. That one dude. Who's in your way? But And Otani's that one dude for Lindor this year. Before we get He's to- He's going to be that one dude for a lot of people. Before we get to uh, all the things that made you go, hmm, in the NFL, baseball, tomorrow starts the wild card. Teams like the Dodgers and Yankees get to tune up and get ready for next weekend. Here's my question. You never want to throw a game. I also think it's illegal to throw a game. You can't just be like, we're going to lose- but the Mets right now, they throw their spot starter, Lucchese. It's pronounced Lucchese, by the way, um, Monsi. I heard you say Lucchese or Lucchese. Mets Radio Network. What's the matter? I was saying, did you cut her off? Oh. Oh. No, she's she's oh. taping for one of our affiliates. I thought she was going to say the Mets Radio Network <laughs> said it that way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. The timing of that. Yeah. I thought the same exact but, thing. But I, or, that was uh, freaky. They had a uh, they have a spot starter in Lucchese. Lucchese. I said if the Mets Actually, win. it's pronounced Lucchese. Lucchese. If you grew up in Lucchese. Long Island or Jersey, you guys go to high school with Lucchese, I bet. Lucchese. It's actually pronounced Lucchese. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That's how it's really pronounced. Lucchese. Fresh mozzarella. Come go. <laughs> if the Mets lose game two of this doubleheader. If they lose game two, they go to Milwaukee. Now, I know the Mets just lost two out of three against the Braves. but Rich, you it's actually pronounced Milwaukee. Oh, I'm sorry, Milwaukee. If you're going to be Mr. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Grammar Police. Actually, it's pronounced Milwaukee. <laughs> Told you. Yeah, thank you, sir. It's Algonquin. If you're going to be all correcting Monsi. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> if the Mets... Which is Algonquin for oh, the good land. Oh, the good land. Um, if the Mets lose, they go to the Brewers. Now, the Brewers are a fast, great ball club. But if you're the Mets, don't you think you'd rather go to Milwaukee than go 3,000 miles to San Diego to play the hot, red-hot Padres? I completely agree with you, and I agree with Rich. It's fact. I mean, listen, the playoffs Why in the a, world would you want to take on the, the, the Padres, who I think is a bigger threat to your Mets? The Padres almost caught the Dodgers. Yeah. And again, take that long ass flight, like you said. You want to lose this game to play the Brewers, but I don't know how you do that. And they got a lot of starters in this how, game. How do you sales not pitching? I was gonna say, how do you purposely lose a game without? It's like you know in the NFL when you're trying to get a, get a, oh the ball dropped in, Braves up one nothing. All right, perfect. As we speak, yeah, bloop bloop base hit to left field from Urshela. Is that your boy Gio Urshela? It sure is, former Yankee. Yeah, so. Danny G, you've seen in the NFL when guys are trying to remember, like, tank for Tua. Remember that was a thing? When you're trying to get a top pick, there's always those times where the bad team loses in the final week, and you're like, why would you do that? Because you can't convince a bunch of pros to lose on purpose. But you don't think the Mets are like, yo, let's not win this one? Yeah, we, there was we, a lot of speculation before the doublehead, the doubleheader started today because um, who did I see this morning? I saw your boy Greeny. Uh, Rich say, mm. do, do the managers like talk to each other beforehand and kind of do like a gentleman's agreement? Dan Patrick investigated this. He put on his uh, John Stossel mustache. Dan Patrick investigated that. If, could there be a gentleman's agreement? Could the Mets and Braves have, quote, forfeited one game each and not even played today? Apparently they couldn't do that. Yeah, baseball wouldn't allow Baseball it. wouldn't allow that. But with the Mets in, and the Mets really have more incentive, I'm being serious, to lose this game take the quick flight to Milwaukee, force the Braves to go all the way to San Diego and face the hot Padres. To me, I guess the best thing you could do is start a spot starter, rest some of your starters, because no one's going to not play. But I, yeah, you can't you're, throw you're a game. You're not going to expect them to throw the game. Some people may be thinking, well, they're pro athletes. They probably think, hey, man, whether it's the Padres or the Brewers, we're, we're going there to win. And that... Is partially the mentality, but I even heard one of my greats, Paul O'Neill, who came to the Yankees and excelled. Yeah. Paul O'Neill. He was like, hey, man, I played with the Yankees for years, and I'll tell you, I'll be the first guy to admit, I would love if Randy Johnson was, was not pitching 
for the series we played against them or whatever. You do think about those things. Of course. You know, so you do think about, well, what's the better matchup? Who you want to face, who you don't want to face. Well, it's the just path, human the, nature. The path in the National League. So the Mets got to want to face the Brewers, the, I would the, imagine. The path in the National League would be, for the Mets, no joke, the path would be Brewers, Phillies, Ooh. or Padres, Ooh. Dodgers. Ooh. Lose this, this game. Great. Lose way, this game. Stop saying yet yeah, because we're going to talk football. Absolutely. But yeah. don't sleep on the excitement, which is the well, baseball postseason. postseason baseball, because, yeah. you know, this is when you really, of course, you know these teams. You've watched them throughout the year. But this is when you really zone in on these characters and see who steps up. And this gets real exciting right now. So appreciate it. Everything you just said about the potential path, it's like it's not easy either way. Yeah. 